Muslims are the true followers of Jesus Christ. Modern Christianity and Christians today do not follow the actual teachings of Jesus Christ, despite their assumption that they do. They are following the teachings of Paul and the early church fathers who came with many innovative ideas that Jesus Christ never taught and was fighting during his lifetime to stop. Modern Christianity teaches the exact opposite of what Jesus Christ was preaching and teaching, such as the belief in the Trinity, which is the worship of more than one God, even though they think they worship one God, Jesus Christ's divinity, and the belief that it is acceptable to disobey the law of God as long as one believes that Jesus Christ died for their sins. Jesus Christ taught and preached the oneness of God referenced throughout the Old Testament. Never once does the Old Testament talk about the Trinity because it is an innovative concept that came much later after the departure of Jesus Christ. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Mark chapter 12, verse 29. Muslims believe in and worship one creator. If modern Christianity is the religion taught by Jesus Christ, why aren't Christians following the laws of the Old Testament? Jesus Christ stated he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill them. Jesus Christ followed the law of the previous prophet, Moses, peace be upon him, and commanded others to follow this law as referenced in the Bible. Today, the church has abolished all laws and passes out free tickets to paradise as long as recipients believe that Jesus Christ died for their sins, with no action required to get to heaven. These were the strange teachings of Paul and the early church fathers, not Jesus Christ himself. Why aren't Christians observing kosher laws when Jesus Christ observed a kosher lifestyle? Jesus Christ was circumcised. Why are few Christians today circumcised? Why aren't Christians following the second commandment, which forbids statues? Instead, you see statues in churches, even though Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1 clearly states, Do not make idols or set up an image or a sacred stone for yourselves, and do not place a carved stone in your land to bow down before it. I am the Lord your God. One sees so many statues of saints and Jesus Christ throughout most churches. Jesus Christ did not eat pork, while many Christians do. On the other hand, Muslims are faithful followers of the teachings of Jesus Christ. When Muslims pray, they prostrate themselves to God by placing their foreheads on the ground in total submission, in the same fashion that Jesus Christ did. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. Muslims pray in the same fashion that the Bible demonstrated for Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Then Abram fell on his face in worship, and God spoke with him saying, Genesis chapter 17, verse 3. Muslims pray in the same fashion that the Bible demonstrated for Prophet Moses and Prophet Aaron, peace be upon them. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Separate yourselves from this assembly so I can put an end to them at once. But Moses and Aaron fell face down and cried out, O God, the God who gives breath to all living things, Will you be angry with the entire assembly when only one man sins? Numbers chapter 16 verses 20 to 22. Prophets Moses, Aaron, and Jesus Christ used to wash and purify themselves before prayer, just as Muslims do. Exodus chapter 40 verses 31 and 32. Muslims do not eat pork, just like Jesus Christ did not. Muslims fast for a month, and Jesus Christ fasted for over a month. Matthew chapter 4, verse 2. Muslims are circumcised just as Jesus Christ was. Jesus Christ had a beard, 
as many Muslims wear today. Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, covered her hair as Muslim women do. The Bible states that women who do not cover their heads dishonor their heads. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. The concept of women covering their hair with the hijab encompasses more than just covering the head. It entails a modest dress code, behavior, and how one carries herself. You can learn more about the concept of the hijab from my other book, entitled Muslim Women and the Hijab Veil, Oppression or Liberation. Furthermore, Jesus Christ did not engage in usury or interest. He did not give or take interest as the Old Testament prohibited it. If you lend money to one of my people among you who is needy, do not treat it like a business deal. Charge no interest. Exodus chapter 22, verse 25. Muslims do not engage in the taking or receiving of interest, as it is a major sin in Islam. It is an immoral act that makes the rich richer at the expense of the poor. Again, Christians do not prohibit interest because they do not follow the laws of Jesus Christ, but instead follow the teachings of Paul, who abolished all the laws that Jesus Christ affirmed. Islam is the only religion that believes and honors Jesus Christ while respecting and following his teachings. Muslims are truly faithful followers of Jesus Christ and his teachings.